you got it a long time ago you're just making me feel good <laughs> maybe uh you look good tonight thank you i've actually got two head <laughs> no hello no hey everybody no no none of that shit i've been slacking lately so i actually found a couple of okay. headlines I trey has headlines think. we don't he doesn't give a shit about how any of you are nope go ahead all right you first have a headline one, first one has a little story to it so i'll just bring it man <laughs> man gets diarrhea hmm huh. On a roller coaster, God, and splashes fourteen people. Oh, <laughs> just the word splash. The word splash right uh, there. Just a couple of comments, and I and I thought the only splash zone was at SeaWorld. <laughs> no, no. Uh, damn it, we talked about this. No Taco Bell before rides. Right. <laughs> but is, isn't there a splash ride at like a lot of amusement parks where they go down yeah, and they hit the the water? Yeah. So that, that's why I didn't laugh at that first comment. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so this that's happened in funny. Spain. Oh, it's, Jesus. And just a can little... You can you imagine? Put yourself in the in that ride. You're having a blast. A little breeze. <laughs> and then all of a sudden... <laughs> just shit. There's really no story to that, is there? Just, Not really. I mean... It, <laughs> People this splash guy, with like shit. this is my anxiety right here. Is if, if if anybody ever got me on a ride, this poor guy is in Spain, 124 miles an hour, notices that his stomach is not feeling well. <laughs> no, uh, but he couldn't stop himself uh, after the first loop, and it forced it well, all out. <clears throat> We've all been there, Trey, where you can't, you just, you, there's only so much you can do. I've had it happen once. Oh. And we... I came to grips with it because it was my car. Okay. <laughs> That's all I want to hear. So anyway. Um, <laughs> so there, were, there wasn't anybody to witness this? No, thank Damn God. It. Damn it. Okay. Except for maybe the chicken, Chick-fil-A employees oh. as I was, anyway. <laughs> well, it's the next headline. Next headline. And this is interesting as a, as a father and as a husband. Correct. You're not a beekeeper though. So I don't know how no, this works out. No. How sucking my college buddy's penis made me a better husband, a better father, and a better beekeeper. <laughs> well, sure. When you give a uh, fellatio, you have beekeeping in mind. <laughs> and I must, so obviously it's a guy giving another guy well, head. And I'm sitting there thinking, Thank you. <laughs> how does he become a better... I looked for a story. By God, I looked for a story, okay, but so I could not find a story. There's no right story? There. There's no story. Are you kidding? I couldn't find a story. I was like, how does this make a man... And and so it's like, did you tell your wife and kids that it benefited them before the article? Or, <laughs> or did the article just come out at the same time? So, or you and the article come out at the same time? See. So this may be the most frustrating headline you've ever given me. Oh, yeah? You mean to tell me that this is the headline, this guy's claiming, but there's no reasoning behind it. I can't find a story. <laughs> I looked on Reddit. Right. I Googled I, everything. I can hear the collective anger from any... There could be six people listening. There could be 6,000. But they're all pissed. And they're pissed. Because um, I... <laughs> I got to know. Beekeeping. Uh, whatever. And of course, uh, there was some kind of funny comments on this is okay, this okay maybe that so salvage, salvage one person it. said is this why all the bees are dying okay <laughs> all right of course the beekeeper was an unexpected turn right um okay. yeah hmm. uh is this the subplot i don't like this one this was not cool but is this a subplot to the beekeeper with jason statham mm. is there a movie called i don't know <laughs> 
you don't even know. Good research, Trey. So yeah, as uh, those were good headlines. Uh, sto- not so good stories. How about that? <laughs> well, anyway. No, but that's what we do. We give you some headlines and then let you figure it out. At You're the beginning. Welcome. At the beginning. At of the, the beginning. Show. We'll, we'll move on. Usually here is the point where we do but her comments. Tonight, I've decided not to do them because the, the only ones I'm reading these are the same. It's the same shit. It's either yeah. you're dumb. Okay, great. Thank do they, you. Do they specify or, anymore? No. It's, it's just both of us. <laughs> yeah. I think you're dumb now has become plural. Or they're on some sort of rant and it... it Conspiracy theories and crazy, it's all the same shit right now. So until there's something new-ish, because every time it's about anti-Trump or whatever. And we get, look. Can't imagine people, why. The, the butter comments, again, are like 6% of what we get. We have, I mean, if I gave you non butter comments, we'd be here all night. That's what I was about to say. Is that why you didn't have one? Because everything was just so warm and fuzzy. Well, part I'm not just saying this, people, but partially uh, that is correct because I went through here and, I, and, it, and it went way back and I couldn't find any uh, for current material. So we just I scratched it. Okay. Moving on. No butthurt comments. Thank you, people. Good job. Uh, I'm sure after tonight's show there will be some. <clears throat> and I look forward to that. Actually, probably some from the last show, but I just haven't got there because I don't really care about all of you. Um, <laughs> and your butt hurtness. <laughs> But hurtness, is that a word I'm using? But hurtness. Yeah, so we can go with that. It's ours. I'm going to give you a quick update on how badass the United States is. I'm, I'm just pulling this up right now, but go ahead. See if yours matches mine. I mean, what I've got is the medal count for the Olympics. Yes. And I have a total of 86 medals for the, for the United States. Okay, cool, yeah. Is that what you show? Yeah. The next, those assholes over in China, 59. Why to, do they have to be assholes? To me, that's an ass kicking. Because China, look, China... We have issues with China, Trey. Well, that's a whole other story. Uh, they're not. Um, they're not very nice. They're, they're, they're only giving us Panda Express. Um, <laughs> there was a question, or there was a comment, or shit. There was a discussion. By the way, we lead in the golds as well. That's so where I, I was going to go with. They, okay. they were discussing that earlier, so this must have been updated from the early discussion on the radio. They were talking about: uh, Would you rather have the most medals? Or the most gold medals, because at the time we did not have the most gold medals. So it's right. like, how would you want it out there listed? We had the most, or we had the most gold. So well, we were still right there with gold. It wasn't like we had one gold medal well, I know. And, and eighty-five <laughs> bronze. Bronze. <laughs> but I think I'm. I think I'm an overall guy. Well, that's a good question. So if you had one gold and eighty-five bronze medals, I'm would still, you be happy about still being that. this eighty-six? Total? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I like I like the fact that we're just kicking ass in the total count. So, what about if you were five gold medals and five total? <laughs> oh, no, no. Well, is there, I, mean, I don't know if there's anybody that's got that going on, but uh, China's next with fifty nine total, Australia thirty five. So there's quite a disparity. But uh, disparity is that the right word? Well, who cares? Discrepancy is that the word? I don't know. There's quite a gap. <laughs> Between the U.S., then China, then Australia, number one, two, and three. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Uh, what? I thought I had this uh, uh, total. The Fr- I'm sorry, France. I for- I apologize. France is third with 48 Oh, total. they had it in. Uh, they had it in gold. Based on the gold medal. Yeah, and I so thought yeah, France I, at 48. I thought I switched that around. Great Britain Stupid. at 46, which I didn't realize that like Scotland and Ireland yeah. and all of them well, were part nor- of Great Britain. Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland is part of Great Britain. Yeah. As far I, as well, the gold Ireland's medal. not supposed to be part of Great Britain because they're not. So I, but, but I don't see them having any medals. <laughs> I don't think they give a I shit. I was thinking they were encompassed into the Great Britain medal count, but... No, they were... It's great. It's Northern Ireland, Wales, Scotland, and England. It's all part of the Great Britain. Great Britain. Gotcha. So... Like I got mad in the Winter Olympics because the Scottish the, the, or the the curling team that won gold was, was literally all Scottish people, but it's Great Britain's flag, mm-hmm. and I was like, it's bullshit. But anyway, bastards, bastards. So that's the medal count. How about this? Let's have some fun uh, on the show, Trey. Not a what kind of fun are we refer- talking about? Not referring to after the show. Okay. Um, I have a couple. <laughs> I read one thing and it got me inspired to look for more. Because of some of the rules and restrictions on the Olympic athletes while they're there. 
Okay. And in you'd think, okay, there's some basics, and uh, you know, you're not supposed to smoke on the premises. Like and there's like no that. sex. I heard too. Um, I haven't They're, heard that one, but you they can discourage add that. it. They it's frowned upon. Well, they hand out a bunch of condoms and they say, "Don't have sex." Yeah. I don't get that. I don't either. They but really do? Yeah. They 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 hand out a ton of condoms, but then they're like, don't have sex. But it's like you have all these young athletes, you know, all of them look great, and they're not going to have sex. I bet everybody's fucking. Oh, yeah. Everybody. It's usually after they finish their competition, though. But, then they start fucking. Well, sure. Or, dude, so many of them are like ripped and, you know, athletic and... I, I don't know. I, I just guarantee you that everybody's banging. Oh, side note. Ireland has four <laughs> oh, gold medals. Oh, there you go. Seven total. There you go. So anyway, go ahead. And you're, I, I did want to know that. Thank you. And um, so I found, <clears throat> I took the top 10 in my mind, which is all that matters, um, of the of the weirdest ones. Okay. And, and the first one's not that weird, but boxers have to be clean shaven. To me, it's, Why? Does it is make, it the beard that takes some of the the power the of the punch? Or I, I don't know. The, Maybe that's why um, Amani won. <laughs> I, Easy. You knew I had to throw that Easy. in there. Uh, that's why I had to throw it in there. Uh, I did not see a goatee or mustache or beard of any kind. No. On Amani Khalif. You just saw her grabbing her dick. Uh, <laughs> I did. I swear to God, there was something. It might not have been a penis, but it was something. Move on. Number two. Track and field athletes don't have to wear shoes if they don't want to. <laughs> so they really? Could, they could just... Wouldn't that hurt? Now, there's actually a football player they were just interviewing the other day that he doesn't wear shoes. But that's grass. Unless... I mean, anywhere. Oh. A, unless it's for football practice. So he'll he'll actually throw on cleats for football practice, but any anywhere else, he doesn't wear shoes. Okay, but you're chilling. Like... No, anywhere else. Like, on the streets, on the... Anywhere. He doesn't wear shoes. He doesn't believe in them. But he's not playing ball. No, no, no. He didn't play. That's ball. what I mean. Like the oh, you're allowed to be. You're so allowed you can to actually compete without oh. shoes. Oh, how can you? Can you oh. imagine doing like a hundred yard dash in your bare feet or hurdles or? Interesting. Although when we were when I was a kid, I don't know if you did the same thing. I would usually take my shoes off to sprint because I felt like I was faster. And, yeah, but on grass. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. On the track. Not or, on the track gravel. So no. You don't have to, but people. That's interesting. I've I didn't never know that seen one. somebody not wear shoes. Uh, number uh, three, gymnasts cannot wear colorful nail polish. Really? So, uh, what does that have to I, do with I, I don't know if you can get your feet up into the camera, but Trey is out. He is not allowed to be a gymnast. I can't gym. You gymnastic? Cannot, you cannot gymnastic. Um, I, yeah, I don't know why. Is it does it mess up the judge's perception of of their? But that's stupid. That's interesting. I think it's. I think it's. I don't understand the point of that. I think it's dumb. <laughs> just it can be. What you say is dumb. Dumb. Uh, I'm not happy with the IOC, uh, the committee in Paris right now with the Olympics. So I'm just calling them out. Yeah. Although this doesn't have to do with just Paris. This is Olympics overall. Number four: Men have to wear pants, and women have to wear skirts in figure skating. That seems very non woke. That is. Seems very sexy. What if a woman wants to wear pants? What if a man wants to wear a skirt? Amen. Let's move on. Okay. Right? I mean, I hate my balls getting warm. I mean, can you imagine the freedom to feel the nice coldness of the ice coming up underneath there? I'm just telling you, this seems to be a little outdated. If, yeah, I think if so. If you want to believe uh, the way that this uh, world is going, I think so. Number five. Do you know what the skeleton com- competition is in Winter Olympics? Skeletons. It's like the bobsled, except you're going face forward. No. And it's one person, and you're on like this thing, and the, and you're going a hundred million miles an hour. I mean, like literally, no, hundred miles an hour. Um, I have to check <clears> this out. It's 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 very dangerous. And <laughs> apparently, you think? you're not required to stay on the sled. <laughs> you. So you just let the sled go? <laughs> the fuck? You just imagine, like, you get close to the end, you fall off, and you're like, just crawl into the end. Or, I'm, I'm going to make it. Or you see all these, you know, different turns and curves, and all of a sudden the sled comes out, but you don't, and it's just still going. There. Yeah, you have to, I think you have I to. I guess you have to cross the I think finish you line. you have to cross. But okay. I just, it just seemed like that was, un, you're not going to win anything if you're not on your skeleton you would sled. Think, you would think. Number six, water polo. Uh, water polo players have a toenail check. 
<laughs> before each. Oh, that makes sense. I can. <laughs> the water just clawing away. Yeah. Shit. That makes sense, but it's just that funny that sense. there's a toenail check. Yeah. Number seven, beach volleyball bikinis must be a certain size. So whoever came up with this, I commend. <laughs> they because must if you've be a certain seen, size. It, seriously, they must be a certain size. So if we were just talking about this earlier, if women volleyball players, they're not that worried. I mean, it's riding up. Yeah. It's, it's, it, you know, their sports bras are very, very <clears throat> tiny. So I'm trying um, to understand the purpose behind these outfits. Is it, do they move easier? The less they wear, I don't get it. That's what I would guess. Is it wind resistance or in the, because, in the okay. sand? If you fall in the sand, let's, it, it let's, won't. Let's go to the other side. I mean, the guys are wearing tank tops and like, that's, that's like true. biker shorts. That's I true. mean, why don't they wear less? The guys, some the guys wear regular shorts. They don't even have oh, to wear biker shorts. So okay. what's what's up with this? Interesting. This is another topic. The guys need to hey, unite. Feminists. Woke, tell it. Tell us why the girls are required to wear bikinis and the guys can wear shorts. Hmm. What if a guy wanted to wear that bikini outfit? <laughs> he better shave his ass, but I don't see the issue. And you see two guys coming out and just like represent. I would rock like that. <laughs> if Trey and uh, and I, mm. Trey and me, Trey, whatever, uh, decided we were going to uh, qualify for the beach volleyball, any kind of beach volleyball, yeah. we would wear the bikini outfit i think so yeah and you know what if you tell us we can't do it we're gonna have some issues very much so if imani khalif can box we can wear bikinis <laughs> i said it let it go i said it um eight refs can disqualify an athlete in karate trey for having dirty hair are you serious why i was hoping you would tell me as a taekwondo uh Double black, what do you call it? Double, du black. double black belt? Du <laughs> What's it called? Second degree. Second degree black belt. I was hoping you could shed some light. I have no clue why dirty hair would make a difference. They're sa they're just saying if the ref views the hair as too dirty, they can be disqualified. I guess where they wore like a headgear, so I don't understand it's how you literally tell. one of the rules. Wow. How many years has that been in there? Uh, I <laughs> I have no idea, but what's the reason? But what's the point? Yeah. Why would yeah. it even be in there? Okay. Uh, okay. I, I'm disappointed. Um... I didn't think you'd know, but I was hoping you did. No, no clue. <laughs> Number I nine. I should have made it up. No excess nudity for figure skaters. Excess nudity for figure skaters. Have you skaters. ever noticed that the figure skater uh, women mostly, don't mean to be whatever, but you know, you notice how a lot of them have that skin colored tight kind of dress and, mm -hmm. and tights on? Okay, yeah. Apparently it looks more appealing, more attractive, sexier, and that gives an image of, of grandeur, if you will. Uh, and and so, but... but It gives them an apparently edge. Apparently, back in the skating. day, apparently, apparently back in the day, you would have very nothing outfits. Huh. Yeah. Where we find these videos. That's what I was going <laughs> to... Trey's already on YouTube over there trying to see if they, anybody's... <laughs> 1930s it. figure skating. <laughs> Hopefully after the show, we'll know how viral we are. Uh, that'll be a trend. Yeah. <laughs> figure skating in the 1890s. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway. And last but not least, number 10, gymnastics have to pay. What? In gymna hold on. In the gymnastics, this then this has to do with something we're going to talk about in a little bit. They have to pay $300 for for the judges to reevaluate their scoring three hundred dollars wow if it's overturned they get the money back if it's not overturned they pay double <laughs> but uh, if i was a judge i'd be like nope <laughs> we're keeping the cash let's go out we're heading to the bar yeah so i just thought that was interesting and we'll get to that because that kind of happened in the Olympics. Well, I was surprised when it comes to money how many countries don't actually fund their Olympic team, including us. I don't know about that, Trey. It could have been one of your stories. Yeah. <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more. Well, I just I just heard that, like for instance, uh, there was some rapper uh, Flavor Flav that actually, uh, 
God damn it. Flav did, Flav. He actually helped, was it the rugby team? Was it, I can't remember which group it was, but basically he funded some of these Olympic groups in order for them to be here to, or to be there, pay for their lodging, pay for their food, all kinds of stuff so like that. So it's maybe like the specific organizations like uh, ice skating, the ice skating federation or exactly I mean? we'll, yeah. we'll help we'll take their the soccer exactly so i was surprised the united states doesn't have well, a, an olympic fund yeah but, i'm surprised but they're too busy on climate change or whatever the yeah. fuck they do <clears throat> so i hope you like that that was fun that was fun that was interesting <laughs> some of them are weird the, the karate dirty hair. you gotta learn about the i have to ask my we're gonna have to research uh, ask your, your yeah who what's he sensei called instructor sensei instructor sensei. ask your sensei all right let's do uh news It's never going to get old, people, so get used to it. Um, <laughs> Nassau County, Trey, in New York. Oh, I thought that was in Houston. That was- <laughs> Nassau County is in New York. Okay. Which is a very liberal state overall. They passed something today that might be uh, of interest to you, or, or at least you'll be like, what, really? Did, is this still going on? They have passed a mask ban. If you're outside, you cannot wear masks anymore. No shit. And it's it, first of it was it, first off it was odd to me that it's a blue state, but apparently it's majority Republican in Nassau County. So of course they blame the it's a Republican thing. Well, fine, whatever. But the, here's why. Let's at least hear yeah, why. I'm like curious. like what like we shared about everything. Anyway, let's yeah hear why. <clears throat> The aim was to prevent crimes during a lot of the protests because if you notice during the protests and all the violence, everybody's got uh, masks on. So that's number one. So is there a lot of protests in Nassau County? Apparently. It's a hotbed for, <laughs> I don't know. Looting. But and- they're just saying it's easier. The second point was it's easier to hide, obviously, your face well, yeah. for crime. And that now that the masks have been used as COVID and more it's normal it's not unusual i mean these days if i see somebody in texas with a mask i'm like okay is it necessary especially in your car (laughs) is it necessary i never understood that one but But, yeah but now it's kind of like okay maybe people are doing it to hide what they're about to plan i don't know so they they passed the mask transparency act Mask Transparency Act. Because okay. of anti-Semitic incidents, like I mentioned, all these protests for Hamas, Palestinian-run Hamas. Hamas-run Palestinian, Palestine, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> Most of them had the mask on. So you can get a fine of $1,000. For wearing a mask. And possibly up to one year in jail. Damn. Yeah, they're not fucking around. Um, it, there are health and religious exceptions. So Muslim people that are here, obviously, if you're wearing the burqa and the, I forget what the other one's called, forgive me, uh, but, but, but the ones that cover face, right. you know, you, you're, a, I, I don't know. I want to say he can't anybody. Hijab? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what it's I, called? I think that's what it's called. <clears throat> but, but what do you, I mean, is somebody going to commit a crime? They could put that on too and just yeah. be like, I'm Muslim. I mean, they could say that. So so they've got to find a way to, to, to make that valid. But I just thought that was interesting. A bit of news. Nassau County, no masks. <clears throat> or you can get in trouble. Shit. Or you can get in trouble. Um, and I'm just going to let you know, <laughs> this is very important. This may be the most important bit of news we do this evening, Trey. Uh, Wendy's. God, I'm hungry. The fast food chain, Wendy's, yeah. right? You right. Know, everybody knows who Wendy's is, yes. right? Okay. They are offering a Frosty for $1 for, until September 30th. Okay. And there's no limit to how many you can get. Holy shit. How are they going to... That's going to bankrupt them, no? They said participating Wendy's. So there's probably like two of them. Yeah. You got to find them. <laughs> participating Wendy's uh, until... Oh, I'm sorry. September 15th. They, they said the end of summer. We're going to do a special. And it's um, unlimited... And valid on the classic chocolate flavor and the limited edition triple berry flavors while supplies last. While supplies last. I was about to say, we're going to hear a story next week about looting because Wendy's ran out of fucking ice cream. (laughs) People are pissed. Wendy's is out. 
Um, I was going to say, be careful, Wendy's, because this, <laughs> you're a lot. Well, there's a Wendy's kind of nearby. I'm going to drive by and just see if the line just, right. you know. The unlimited um, shrimp didn't work for Red Lobster, so. Did they do that? Well, now they're, yeah, they're uh, all going bankrupt. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Interesting. So get your Frosties while they last, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, for $1. $1. 99 cents, not even $1. 99 cents, of course. With tax, it's Did you notice that the little seven. Wendy's thing had its mom on the neckline? I did not know that. You didn't know that? No. But I'm glad you told me. <laughs> That's what I do. Last bit of news tonight. We don't have a lot of news because Trey's fantastic headlines. <laughs> We're going to roll <laughs> with um, more Olympic talk. And I in the... In, in, and rightfully so, right? It's the Olympics. Yeah, it's the Olympics, yeah. I've been watching a little more. You and I talked, and you said you'd been watching, and I, embarrassingly, had not. Watched some interesting stuff, yeah. And and I finally put it on, and I told the kids to fuck off. I was like, look, I'm tired of watching uh, Bluey or whatever the hell you're watching. We're going to put Bluey, on. Bluey, huh? Yeah, Bluey is an a Australian dog, sure is, dog yeah. cartoon. <laughs> what do you, I'm sure if I Google Bluey, yeah, that's what's going to come it, up. It will. It will this time. <laughs> And or or little mon- super monsters or whatever the hell they're watching these yeah. days. I said we're, the Olympics are on every four years, and my four year old started getting into it because he wanted to race with the runners. Okay, so he would get all ready when they go ready, set, and he'd get ready and they'd go and he'd just take off. And he's fast. He's probably gonna. He'd probably win if he enters the Olympics one of day. Of course, yeah. So uh, I started watching more, and I watched last night and. <laughs> Go figure. Here we go. More controversy. There's a Romanian gymnast, and I don't think she's supposed to be any good. Like, like she's not a big name. Well known. Uh, well known, or she wasn't expected to do much. Her name is Anna, or Anna, or Anna uh, Barbosu. Barbosu. Bar- okay. Bar- Barbosu. Bar- Perfect Romanian yeah. accent there. I, I worked on that. Well, she won the bronze and the floor exercise. Have you uh, have done floor gymnastics in your life? Not floor gymnastics. I have done the floor, though. Yeah, The pommel horse? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't pommeled any horses, no. Okay. Are you more of a bars a double? The rings? I can see Trey on I did the did monkey ring. bars one time. Yeah. I think that qualifies. Uh, so this woman, this woman. This woman? This woman uh, wins bronze. Very cool. And the U.S. coaches for our one of our gymnasts, Simone, um, Simone Biles, had already won silver, I believe, and then there was some chick that won gold, and she was she was good. Yeah, uh, I forget where she was. That the one from Brazil? I think she was Brazilian. Yeah, she was good, and I've she did she did about great. That too. Okay, well, hang. On. I want to hear it. But the U.S. coaches for Jordan Childs, um, who is kind of like you know second tier to Simone Biles. She was fifth at the time, and they went over and asked for a review. So what we were saying, I wonder, if they, I wonder if they had to shell it out at the time. They do Zelle, maybe, yeah. Venmo? <laughs> yeah, what do you have? Do you have a cash app? or You see they put little things on the top of their phone. <laughs> yeah, swiping the credit card. Um, this didn't. This is a decline, sir. Yeah. No uh, re- review. Did not work. Well, guess what happened? They reviewed it, and they, ch- they altered the score. Oh, no. And Jordan Childs, American, so we're happy for her, right? Went from fifth to third. So you even a, jumped a the fourth score. place person. Yeah. And the third place bronze medal winner from Romania, Anna Barbosu, who had spent 10 minutes hugging her oh, uh, no. coaches and family and friends, wasn't expected to even get close to a medal, is now looking up at the board and sees that she is no longer a medalist. Holy sh- So did they too, do too many deductions on the, the American they, or not enough on the Romanian? Or they what? Just, no, it wasn't had any, nothing to do with the Romanian. It was just the, the United States. It was um, a child's performance. And they said that they inaccurately deducted points for, I think, out of bounds or something where her okay. foot actually didn't go out of bounds. So they reviewed it or something like that, and they saw that it didn't actually. It's really similar to a, a review in football or a review even in baseball these days, where you challenge the safe call at first, Interesting. and it's by this much. You know, her heel. You know, you could see that much room. Wow. And so, poor Barboso. I mean, I, I really I can't even imagine. And so, of course, the prime minister of uh, Romania, he's pissed. 
He's like, his name is Marcel Silaku. And he said he will not attend the closing ceremonies. He's pissed. You're, you're, I think he, he said he was most upset because this is, it needs to be, once the judges do it, they, they need to do it. It's, it's done. done. Yeah. And you're messing with the emotions of some young child who will never forget this. And it went from here to here. It went from high, the highest you could be to the lowest you could be in the span of a few minutes. And and he cares about his his uh, his citizen. Well, imagine all that training, and then all of a sudden you get bronze, and then just yeah, that, taken that, away. that whole thing too. Yeah, the whole dream training It's crazy. Yeah. So, and, and again, I'm glad it was at least a U.S. person, but I really feel for him. That sucks. There was a little side note. A little side, side note. note. Uh, there was a Romanian millionaire that claimed he would buy uh, all the gold medal. Romanian athletes new cars until I guess there is a rowing all of them regardless of performance yeah if they win a gold medal he was going to oh, buy if them. they won a if gold. they won a gold medal okay. he was going to buy them a car well I guess there was a rowing competition that's eight plus one so nine competitors in this rowing competition that won gold <laughs> he was like, was like Fuck. he was like nope. So he, oh, backed he, ba- out, he backed out. He backed out. out. Come yeah, on. Yeah, he backed out. Come on. So no cars. So that's that's actually pretty funny. The one he's given event. Given a twenty five dollar gift card to Starbucks. Instead. There you go. So, there you go. So that's far. the one event where you have like nine yeah. people. Yeah. So. You have eight rowers on the one. I want. That's who I would be. Is the person in the front? They call him the. What do they call that person that sits there and just yells at everybody? The yeller. I don't the know. Co- the cock. The what? <laughs> <laughs> My father would know because he did rowing at <clears throat> when he did his masters at, at so over at Stanford. The fact so you he, call him a cock. You no, know, it, it's the cocksmith. Or no, the <laughs> the cocksmith. I think it actually might be. So if, if I'm right, <laughs> anyway, I would I would be that guy sitting in the front, just like go go, and I would get uh, a medal. Yeah, for sitting there yelling at people. Yelling. That's motivational. Seems about right for me. <laughs> um, so <laughs> so that's so that's going on. Um, Really fast, speaking of Simone Biles, I, I didn't want to say this. I didn't want to talk about it. I, I'm going to do it real fast because I want to know your opinion. Uh, did you hear about Donald Trump when he said uh, in a couple of actually a couple of different, uh, whether they were interviews or rallies, where he said that illegal immigrants coming across the border, southern border mainly is what we're talking about, there aren't a lot coming through Manitoba. So we're not worried about Canada. the Canadians? Yeah. Not, not a lot through Saskatchewan coming in. And Saskatchewan. And I don't know why I added that emphasis. But he said, and we all know Donald, when he's saying something, it doesn't always kind of flow. You think? And he said, hey, you know, these a lot of these people are taking black jobs. Okay. Okay, right off the bat, everybody goes, oh, and they were ready. They were just ready to pounce. Well, if you listen to his context and his explanation, and again, I, I don't mean to be this biased Donald Trump defender, but I am a defender of context, people, and a defender of, come at me about something legitimate about Donald that you don't like, not this. What he's insinuating is that unemployment with blacks is high, again, under his presidency, it was low. These are some of the people that are causing black unemployment to be high. He didn't mean literally there were certain jobs for black people. And that's what they're saying. Oh, he, he thinks that black people only do these jobs. Give me a break. So Simone Biles, there's a, 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 I don't even want to give him credit but because he's such a dick. But this this musical, they say he's a right. I've never heard of him. Have you heard of Ricky De, De, Davila or Davila? Right? Maybe if you knew his name, maybe. <laughs> Ricky Davila. Well, he, he these days he doesn't post anything about his uh, music or his career. He only posts political stuff, anti-Trump. And so he posted something. He said, congrats to Simone Biles and blah, blah, blah. And and I hope she's enjoying her black job. Okay. You think you're, you're being clever. Well, she actually retweeted it. And she said, hey, uh, I enjoy my black job. And and they were basically taking a shot at Donald, Simone Biles, and she's a representative of this country. And I'm I'm just getting tired of the. I found myself last night, Trey, and then I'll let you respond to this. Watching her after I heard that, 
and she stumbled, and I was like, <laughs> I gave a little, and I then I was angry at myself because it's like this isn't what it's about. This is the Olympics, cheer on our country. But everything's so politicized, and it's just like, why did Simone Biles feel like she needed to say that? If you have a political statement, then make it. But but thinking you're being clever is going to piss people off. What do you think? Maybe am she, I being a little? Well, maybe she didn't have a political statement. Maybe she just wanted to mouth off and make it seem like she had a, a political thought. Here's here's one thing I want to ask you about. Side note. Here we go. Brittany Grimer. You know, Griner. Her. Griner. Right. Brittany Griner. R- Griner. You're familiar. I did say Griner, didn't I? I don't think so. Anyway. <laughs> said, God damn it. Griner. The rush, the basketball player, WNBA, she's like eight foot tall, and she was detained in Russia. Right. For, and, and we were able to get her back. Got her back. Like she, she kneeled during the national anthem. I was unaware of that. Did she really? Yeah. I was just like... But one of the players is like, "Why are you going to kneel during the national anthem when they went and got they you did back everything from they could Russia. to get her back and left another actual good good man who who's been there for a, and he shouldn't have been. She actually did a crime. It, it was a silly crime, but in so, Russia, yeah. in Russia law, she committed a crime. This guy didn't, and he's sitting there rotten. So yeah, I thought that was an interesting hmm. uh, side. I'm yeah, surprised fired up. there was not more of that on on television or on the news about that. But I think I think finally people are like I think publications and broadcast companies are like let's okay enough of the kneeling thing. Yeah, it's not going well. People people are tired of it. Okay, at the at first, look, Colin Kaepernick did it great. He'll always be known for that. Good for you, Colin. Then you do it a couple of weeks and move on. But to do it right now. Right now, everything Timing. everything's yeah. going Brittany Griner's way. If yeah. she if she back then they did it because they were frustrated by police and and uh, Donald Trump and and right wing politics. Now it's anything but. Yeah, I was surprised. I mean, so what? She I mean, she want attention. There's no telling. Anyway, well, but I've never liked Brittany Griner. Uh, she played for Baylor, and you know, yeah. I don't really like Baylor, so. So before you move on, back to Simone Biles. Okay, and, back and to Simone have, Biles. And, and it might have happened after this particular competition where they went and reviewed it um, after you were talking about it because it had something to do with Simone Biles and Jordan Child's um, gesture of sportsmanship. They were actually bowing to that Brazilian that won the the competition, that floor competition. I think it was that one. Yeah. So the, the, the Brazilian um, athlete, that one, they were up on the podium, and both Simone Biles and this Jordan Childs were both facing the Brazilian athlete, and they were bowing to her, just showing as you know huh. they were, they were all in good competition. So they just like kept the bow the whole time, right? They they well they just were bowing or to her, a yeah. Whole like thing. So and maybe I'm curious to see what your thoughts on this. Baltimore Ravens cornerback. Uh, well, Marlon fuck Humphrey, him because I hate the Baltimore Ravens, but no, go ahead, Humphrey. Tw- he tweeted out saying, this is literally disgusting. Whoa, whoa. And he, So he did not like the idea that they were... Bowing what? to this athlete. I don't understand why it's so... But what's so bad about what's it? What's so bad about that? Like, I can understand if we were going to... If people were bowing to, like... I'm on a or, you know, somebody that had started at controversy. You're going to have both sides fired up and a guy might tweet out like, why would you bow? That's disgusting. But this woman won gold and they're basically giving her props. Well, and even before this competition, Simone Biles was giving this, this athlete props. Cause I think she was very close with yeah. her on the all around. And so they were going literally back and forth. One would go up into first, the next one would go into first, and they were yeah. flip flopping first place all the way till and, the end. And all these and gymnasts so, are friends. They, yeah, they all know each other. They hug each other. Look, they, they get done with a routine and they like go hug every country. Right. If, if can you imagine if that in like a hockey playoffs or yeah. something? Go, oh, go, no. So. So yeah, I, th- I thought that was that, that is interesting that that he uh, he's all fired up. I want to know why. I want to look more into that. That's all I said. It and was Humphreys officially. He, I mean, uh, he deleted the tweet. Obviously, well, but yeah, you said it was Humphrey. Yeah, Humphrey? Marlon Humphrey. Marlon. Okay, well, and he's facing the backlash for this. Well, but it would help if he gave context. Yeah, and that's all it was. Was this is literally disgusting, and that's all it was. 
maybe he thought something else. Maybe, he, you know, he could have assumed something and, and, and uh, whatever. Um, all right. Well, the, the part that <laughs> I just, just don't want to, I don't want to do this, but we have to do it, Trey, is the lovely sarcasm, Kamala Harris. And by the way, Trey is still undecided. So uh, people, you can, you can split. Maybe Trey and I will cancel each other out. If you can convince Trey that Kamala Harris is the right candidate for the job, I'm but. actually looking forward to a debate with her and Trump just to see what she's got. You know, she's younger; she has some sense about her. Well, at least more so than <laughs> okay. no. I mean, she's she can you know looks like she's awake up there, and um, so she is the opposite of she's young of Joe. So we'll see what he, she has to say. Joe looks uh, tired and about to pass out, and she looks like she's on crack. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Um, easy. And I know, and I, and I mean that literally. And, um, I hope you don't mind uh, everybody uh, that's listening. Uh, there may be some videos here and there that, that, I, that we post of Kamala because you just need to see it. She's, she's a little, she's a little, she's great. got some energy. She's a little, mm, <laughs> but she doesn't know, she doesn't know why she has that energy. She just kind of starts laughing at random things. It's, it's interesting. Take a look, everybody. Allegedly. And, and my right? co, and my co host. Allegedly. <laughs> She's allegedly okay. cracked out. She made her VP selection today, her vice president selection today. Gotcha. Did you, did you hear about this? Or do like you Governor of care? Minnesota, right? Governor of Minnesota, Tim Walls. How old is Tim Walls? He looked older. Um, isn't it interesting that I've got like notes and notes and notes, but not his age? <laughs> I figured that would be the first thing that jumped out <laughs> I at you. I don't know why it's not. No big uh, deal. No, it, it, he's old. Er. Oh, well, he's at least in his sixties, that maybe in his seventies. I mean, so he's got good, completely I was about to say, white. So twenty years younger than yeah, Biden. That's going to so. bother me. You know what? Say something clever here while I Google this. Clever here, <laughs> God. What Tim Walls? So he's from Minnesota. Age. He's sixty years old. Okay, so he's not. Was that there any? Old. Sh- he looks strategy. Look, I'm not gonna. You know, Tim, you, you don't look great for sixty. But. Was there any strategy from a, a governor from Minnesota as a a non? Well, he's very. Person? He's very like her. He's very left leaning, of course. Well, yeah, he, I would assume so. If he's there, you go. So we gave you, when Vance was picked as Trump's vice president, we gave you his stuff. And I said I agree with some of the stuff. And we both said we disagree with some of his stuff. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to try and be fair. I'm going to do my best. So Tim Walls was a governor of Minnesota. He was a teacher, a military veteran. Uh, Good. Well, that's cool. Good. uh, Ex-Congress member. Uh, He is very known for progressive policies, which is basically woke. Um, education, caregiving, enhanced protection to uh, abortion, LG, uh, LGBT rights, things like that, that are very known for the woke side to be heavily involved in. That's their priority. The, the, those things are their priorities versus things on the other side that seem to be like the border and you know uh, economic policy and uh, over international affairs. It seems to be like the importance of these things is also different. But anyway, so a couple of the topics: abortion. He advocates for abortion. Uh, he the, the problem I have with it, and I'm not going to lie. And again, you know, my policies are different than the left, and we know this. Uh, not all of them, some of them. But in this case, you can have an a, abortion at any point of the pregnancy. And I'm just, I just don't like that. No matter what, no matter what. And to me, it's frustrating because there are issues, there are circumstances, and, and, and why should you be able to, in, unless there are extenuating circumstances, in month eight, be able to just be like, I changed my mind. And technically, you can do that. I'm not saying people do, or a lot of people do, but technically you can, and that bothers me. Does that bother you? I guess the only thing that I can understand would get frustrating is who... If you say, okay, it can only be under these circumstances, this, that, that, uh, well, then who has the, the, who's responsible for deciding it, I guess, is what I'm trying to understand. We're trying to put that responsibility on the doctors or, I mean. You mean in cases Because there's no, how do you make this super black and white, I guess? Well, if it's late term, the doctor needs to say, it needs to either be the mother's life is in, in danger. And that's really it. What other reason is there to take a baby in late term? If you haven't figured it out, 
honestly, by the end of the first term, if you haven't figured it out, you shouldn't be able to, in my opinion. And I'm pro-choice overall in the first term. Yeah, I just, I guess I would need to understand. I, I see your point with any time. And I just pregnancy. admitted that. And then the people that are Trump people aren't going to like me here saying that, but that's how I feel. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. What were you saying? Why? What would be the problem in letting the doctor decide? As far as you can go get an abortion anywhere you want, but the doctor can decide whether or not they want to proceed with it. So, for instance, I can go anywhere in Texas get a get a abortion. It's legal. You can do it. But the doctor can decide, you know what? I'm not going to do it here because of X, Y, Z. Why not give that power just to the doctors but, on an individual basis? But unless it has something to do with the medical uh, fragility of the mother, then That's what, what I'm why, saying. why does the doctor have any say? That's what I'm saying, though, because they would have the opportunity to decide whether or not it's just some somebody that just you know decided at the last minute, yeah, I can't, I can't do this. Yeah, let's get rid of it. I see what you're saying, but there are also plenty of doctors that might be left leaning as well who are like, right, I understand cool. that, uh, uh, but you don't I, want it. Yeah, well, I get that too, but it's like, I don't know. I, I would assume karma would come back and get them, but well, <laughs> you would you would think. I just think if after a certain point. There is absolutely no reason other than mother's health and, and her safety or, which is, you could do almost a whole show on this tray, or if there is something that's detectable about the baby that deforms it or it has some sort of disease or it's autistic or has all of these, you know, has some sort of a big thing that's going to make its life very difficult. So... Those things can be considered. Here's where I'm worried because I did hear a story recently. I know, uh, and maybe one is enough. This woman said that uh, there was a certain point in the pregnancy, I don't remember how many weeks it was, where they found out that the baby was not going to be viable. There were so many issues with it. Not going to be viable. Where it was not going to be born either healthy, to live. Do you know what the issues were? I, Any there was a, I don't remember the specifics. Just a bunch I should have of, probably wrote it. There was just a bunch of stuff. Okay. You know, things weren't developing, right. this, that, and the other. So at at some point, they actually lost the heartbeat. So the baby passed. Before they made any decisions on anything. Right. So they were trying to figure things out. And actually, I want to say she was told that... So she went in to have the abortion. They were like, no, you can't do it. You have to be in, in, in danger of you losing your life in order to have this abortion. What state? I don't remember what state it was. <laughs> I remember I remember she flew to another state to have this abortion in order to try to do this. Yeah. But anyway, the doctors wouldn't allow it because it they didn't feel like it was messing with her health. So they were like, well, no, this is not messing with you. You need to get sicker before you can qualify. So Interesting. Time went on. The baby, I guess the baby lost their their life still couldn't do it the mother ended up getting so sick because of it Wait, the, I ba think, the baby had already died right and why wouldn't they do it at that point that i see well that's that's a i whole need to come deal. i guess i need to give <laughs> well anyway we, we don't but, like to give you the details but what, people. what ultimately happened is she ended up finally she got so sick septic to the point where now she can't have kids at all yeah. and so yeah. it's like you know, look, I, look, I'm with you there. That makes no sense. If they if they lost the heartbeat, you know, I mean, what do they what do they want her to do? Have basically have a still a still birth. birth, yeah, and and well, that's wrong. I there are a lot of there are a lot of talking points within one topic, and that's what I always say. We always say, stay in the gray. It's not about me not having an opinion. People, not, I'm just tired of hearing that. Yeah. You're not staying in the grave voting for Trump. So I'm not so what do you want me to <laughs> just not have an opinion? But in this case, this is a perfect example of this on the abortion issue. I'm not it's not cut and dry. It's just it's just not. That's why I guess I just don't understand how how But late term is so important to me. But then you have to fit certain guidelines to well, have the you know, that's not, where but not necessarily that he what he's but in this case, we're talking about Tim Walls. In his case, no matter what, 
you can have an abortion anytime. And that's my problem is you, it's not always. So somebody that like has, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Stage fright at the very last two weeks can go in there and have an abortion. And that child is, that's a baby at that point, dude. And I, and I, and even I, and I don't, I, again, woman's rights. I'm all for it. I really am. But in that case, come on. I'd be curious to problem. know how many of that those actual happened. Those no, you're happen. right. You're right. I would no, and, and the only reason I'm saying I'd just be curious because I I know somebody that did have an abortion and they, I mean, they had to fight over this decision to figure out if this was the best option for them, and ultimately they decided to go ahead and ha- go but through late it. month. But no, it wasn't late. Well, no, it go. was very er- very early. And so, I think that I think that's that's different. That's something that. And then it becomes religious, and it's a whole big thing. But I guess regardless, it's, it's it's a tough decision, I'm assuming, for any woman to have well, to sure. make that decision. So or, I guess... Or the man? I would, yeah. And so I guess I would be curious to know what percentage actually yeah. were late term, you know? So. Yeah, and that's something, you know, maybe, who knows, maybe I'll look up something at some point, give it to you. I don't, I don't I guess it's just hard to put guidelines around it yeah. no matter what because they Well that's the point. How Let's can you talk. think of any and all situations to where you got okay, to. it's okay you gotta to sit and talk and come up with it. Look, insurance policies have have every possible <laughs> thing they can think of. Nope, not not covered, not covered, covered. Co- we got to do that with abortion. I know that I don't want to compare a, a child's life to a, an insurance policy, but but it's true. Uh, in a sense, we need to sit down and talk about it. It's not it's not black and white like Tim Walls wants it to be in this case, and that's the pro- That's the only reason I brought it up is I just don't like the idea that anytime, anywhere, no matter what, um, L- LGBTQ. I when I write it down, I can say it right. The rights. Um, he voted for all their rights, you know. But his big thing was he wanted to vote uh, to ban to revert or repeal the military one. You remember that one? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the gay people weren't allowed to be in the military. That that I forget who. Uh, I thought there was just a don't was. ask, don't tell. No, that was that was an actual issue, and and I and I can't remember whether it passed or. Hmm. Bottom line is he was uh, wants to repeal. He said it repeal, so I'm imagining something's in there. Interesting. Um, it, but and of course he says he's you know and this is where the woke and all that gets me we're a sanctuary state for trans people you don't need a sanctuary state come on i mean is everybody in minnesota really just because you say that going to be behave they're going to behave the way you want them to no probably not you're probably going to still get assholes in minnesota no yeah i mean i mean fuck the vikings and the twins (laughs) I mean, I, I, you know, it's just, I, can, I just don't understand why there's so much hate towards trans people in the world overall, it seems like, you know. Uh, well, I think it's because it's being forced. Um, they are still point, like, whatever percent there's, compared to the rest of the world. And I think my issue with it, and, and that's what happened in the Olympics, is that you're forgetting about the vast majority in order to cater to the very low minority which is the transgender. And I, I don't have, you and I have said, be happy, be happy, be transgender. We're right. Are you, you're with me? Well, right? yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I'm, I know we're that way, but it's just like, you know, I just don't understand why there's so much hate towards, well, but I guess there's hate towards gay people too. Well, and you know, well, being gay is no longer, that's like, so nineties. Yeah. <laughs> now, if, the, if anybody has any issue with gay people anymore, whatever. And maybe that'll happen with trans. Maybe we'll go get further and we'll understand it more. Maybe we should need to have conversations. Right. But to me, when you want to change your gender, their biological makeup, your physical makeup, that is different than just preferring cock over vagina. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean... Or vice well, versa. And from from what I've learned, also, trans, a lot of the transgender stuff is not very sexual. You know, it's just like that. You know, yeah. the sexual part of it can be any gender, mm-hmm. but how they feel is a certain way. And it almost, you know, overshadows any sexual feelings. I mean, it just kind of takes them, and, and all they're worried about is how they feel, and and they're dealing with that. They don't have time for yeah. What do I really like when right. it comes to that? Uh, you know, the, a lot of stuff that I looked at, childcare. Okay, uh, this is where I'm going to be. I'm going to be 
here we go. I'm not all biased. I, I appreciate this. I want to know who pays for it all, if it's our tax dollars. Child care. He's very, very into improving child care. He wants Minnesota as the governor now if, if, if they win. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's not going to happen. But if he wants Minnesota to be the best place for families to live, well, there are a lot of other things. I, I think it's ironic that he, you can abort it at any point, but now he wants to child care. But, I would think any governor wants well, sure. families but to be. But he's focused on child care. And what he's saying is he's granting workers 12 weeks of 90% pay for a newborn or just a sick family member. He wants to boost the wages for child, child care workers. We all do. I, look, teachers, child care workers, boost that shit. Yeah. Bottom line, though, is that is it coming from personal tax dollars or is it coming from federal uh, funding? And that's sometimes the same. But that's my issue. Is you, is we all want that, but how are you getting it? He had the highest child tax credit in the country, which is which is great. So, getting back if you were a child care. Teacher, a parent. Like oh, that. oh, teacher, okay. Got you. Okay. Teacher, and, and no, 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 no. I'm. You're absolutely right. I compl- I said it completely wrong. Okay. So if you file with children, you're right. Okay. You get it. I read it wrong. I was reading my notes. I can't write uh, uh, legible. I should be a doctor. Highest child tax credit in the country for, uh, but it is unlimited, and that that makes me frustrated because then you're talking about you know people up there. Oh, let me have eight kids, and I get you know shitload of money. Well, and I also wonder if it also goes for people that foster or adopt because there was actually a woman. I swear to God, came out of her mouth. Whoa. She, she was <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. She was actually fostering child uh, children with HIV, and she was actually bragging about fostering more children just because of the paycheck she got from the government to cover these children that she was covering. I feel like you mentioned this before, and it baffled me. You know, I'm thinking, yeah, no, I'm thinking she's doing something out of the kindness of her heart, but no, she's mentioning how much money she makes from doing this. I was just like, that's crazy to me. So, yeah, um. He wanted to raise old home disability centers uh, where Biden will be in a little bit, uh, wages. And I respect that. Great. Or the, to inspire caregivers for the elderly, let's find a way to raise those wages. I'm yeah. all for it. There's nothing wrong with that. But are these the top priorities of our country at this moment? That's my, that's my issue. Because when you look up... Um, <laughs> This guy's uh, 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 what's his fucking name again? <laughs> well, let me ask this: Maybe what's it's a top Wall? priority for a vice president. Well, you know, yeah, you know? but but as a go- this is as a governor, this is his kind of mantra. This is his, uh, this is what he. So believes. this is what he's been believing. But so so as they're a not governor. getting the big issues beca- for a reason. We'll get there, real fast. <laughs> real fast. Get there. Education. He was a teacher, so. Um, he, he's proud that he's one of six states to offer free lunch to elementary kids. Okay, great. That, but again, you're going to be VP. We need more than that. Um, this is the this is the part that gets me, and this is why one of the reasons I'm and I'm going to try and wrap this up. I, I I'm just so frustrated by it. He wants to put free uh, menstrual products in both boys' and girls' restrooms in schools. I don't understand why. Why? Because now boys can go in girls' restrooms and girls can go in boys oh, if they identify no. a certain way. And that's my problem. You're bringing the children into this bullshit. Trey and I have said if you're an adult, to be happy. Do your thing. We love you. In fact, mm. come on talk to us. If you're a child and you're four, it, that got me. That got me. There's one other thing that got me in a minute. Who they actually signed the other day? Um, he tried to make college free for families making under eighty thousand dollars a year. You can't just make college free. Somebody's paying for it. You know what I mean? Like it, it's, they they love the word free. It's not free. Somebody's paying for it. Yeah, somebody's got to pay for it. Guns. Well, he used to go. He used to actually be uh, uh, the NRA liked him. 
he would because he had basic thoughts. Okay, let's background check. Blah blah blah. And now apparently they give him an F. Uh, he's he's changed his tune and uh, he wants the harshest of penalties. And I don't necessarily disagree. I think if you do something illegal with guns, you need to, to be penalized. Yeah. Here we go. The border. He makes jokes about this border. He's making a joke uh, uh, when it comes to Trump. Trump's wall. If it's 25 feet, which, by the way, it's not fucking 25 feet. It's a lot bigger than that. If it's 25 feet, I'm going to invest in 30-foot ladders. Is that funny? No. Especially when we're talking about the border, where there are... I mean, this is a huge... Even if there isn't that much of an issue, really, it's caused our country to hate each other. And so you don't joke about it. I mean, we like I say that you and I joke about everything, but why didn't he go down and actually talk to the people that yeah, live go, go by down there, down by the border, and get their yeah. opinions? Bring your thirty foot ladder and see how if you if you can get over you fat fuck. Oh, did I say that out loud? Um, here's the deal. He just signed. Whew, this gets me, and then we're gonna end because of time. Because I have one more quick thing I want to talk about. He just signed a bill that illegal migrants, immigrants, illegal, should be awarded driver's licenses. Why? What's the point in that? Who knows? It, it, maybe it makes them now all of a sudden they can vote. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. Why would you allow people here... Or that are here illegally, and of course he wants to speed up, you know, process this uh, the, the path to citizenship, and that's fine. Is that but a way to track them? Maybe no, I, pfft, no. It's a it's a no. It's a way to let him, let him be uh, here illegally. Who cares? Uh, I, in my opinion, I guess so, I don't so understand that got the benefit of that conspiracies or whatever else. But I imagine they get quite a few votes from these people because not a lot of states require proof of citizenship. If you have a driver's license, all of a sudden you have an ID, you vote. Mm. No questions asked. Maybe there's something to that, but why would you want to give a valid United States identification card, like a driver's license, to somebody who's here illegally? It makes no sense. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't get that. Right? Yeah, I don't understand that. Some other some of these other things pay the pay the healthcare work great, but that's ridiculous. Some of these big issues that are important to me, obviously. I'm not on board with this guy. Hmm. Like, I'm not on board with Kamala. People that aren't on board with Trump aren't on board with Vance. It's just, this is what it's turned into. Lastly, he he's all about the, the clean energy, uh, uh, and that's a huge difference as well with Trump. Trump wants to dig, frack, do all the underneath the ground, get, get, our, get the natural resources. And this guy thinks that we can live off the sun and by 2040 uh, we should be solar power and, and on non-renewable uh, energy. So I'm not, I'm not with him on that. I still think we should research, but I'm just not. It's just, it sounds, to it, say. It sounds silly. You, well, you can do both. You, and that's what Donald said. He's like, look, there's nothing wrong with having electric cars, but we, you shouldn't be forced. You, you know, we, we got to do both until we figure it all out. Yeah. And it's not figured out. Gotcha. I mean, yeah, yeah. I was, I was just wanting to ask, you know, what's, what's the bad thing about fracking? And because the only thing I've really heard about is it can cause earthquakes and stuff like that. But I'm not really sure what other issues that it can cause. Well, so, they just don't want fossil fuels being used. Why? Because of the environment. So it's destroying the environment. pollution. Well, that's the claim. Gotcha. But I, you know, I posted something on behalf of the show, by the way. Uh, George Carlin, the late Oh, great. yeah, I saw that. Uh, and, and, you know, he makes a great point. This Earth's been here for billions and billions of years, and it's gone through this, this, this. He, he does his list. This, 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 this. It's been through this and this and this. But a couple fucking plastic bags in the ocean are going to, yeah. And and obviously he's making light, and, it, and it's a little more than that with fossil fuels, things like that. But look, you you can't just stop doing using fossil fuels you can't just stop that out of the blue we can work on ways to reduce it we can work on ways to eventually get but it's not we're not there yet yeah. so quit trying to force it because you're looking silly uh, you know he, and, and Don, Elon Musk has come out and said hey look guess what 
I endorse Donald Trump, blah, blah, blah. Well, Donald Trump's saying, let's use fossil fuels. Elon makes electric cars. Two people that, that you know see don't see eye to eye on that issue are, are getting along. Yeah. And Trump said, I admire that. Let's try for electric cars. Let's do that. But there are also going to be others until we figure it all out. So speaking of Elon really fast... I always try and keep this show at a certain time, and I can't do it, Trey. It's I always can't speaking fucking of, do it. Speaking of. Can't do it. But speaking of Elon Musk, he, he made a comment um, in the United Kingdom. We talked about that. Nor, uh, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, England. There are lots of riots going on. Are you aware of this? You told me earlier, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're aware right before the show. <laughs> they are rioting because of the stabbing it started after i think this is built up but it started after the stabbing this was the final straw this was it and unfortunately it it kind of didn't work <laughs> the way they thought it would and it makes them look bad but people are pissed about this illegal immigration because it's happening there too it's happening in france we talked about it coming yeah. across the mediterranean they go up into to england and we've seen video where they get off the boats and immediately start to, to riot. And I'm not saying every one of them, but, but we've seen enough. That's and cool. and what, so why add to it? Let's vet it properly and, and whatever. So there was a stabbing of three young girls at a Taylor Swift themed dance class. Oh, I did hear about this. Yeah. Because we were interested in the Taylor Swift themed dance class. Is no, that correct? That's not what I, and you see us I in, mean, yeah. You see us in line for that. <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> I can just imagine them pulling us out of that line. Yeah, we haven't talked about Tay Tay in a while. Uh, we miss Tay Tay. Wow. We used to do Tay Tay talk for anybody that missed all that for about eight shows, and and we, we I'm sure during football season it'll come back. Oh, up unfortunately, with, with uh, Travis Kelsey. But so what happened was, it, it was this was in Southport, England, and there was three girls killed in stabbing, and most thought it because of the way he looked, that he was a Muslim immigrant. Turns out he was 17. His name was Axel Radikwaka, right? That with three Qs and two yeah, Ls? Yes. He was actually born in Wales, but his parents are from Rwanda. So he's not, uh, I mean, he's legally born in the UK, so he's, you know, a citizen. Um, I, don't, I don't know what their laws are, but I'm assuming it's similar. Yeah. Um, and... And so, of course, everybody's going, see, it wasn't whatever. The bottom line, though, is that these things are happening from illegal migrants. They're happening from, from citizens as well. But yeah. why add to it? Yeah. That's my point. Why add to it? Uh, why the, the backlash from a lot of these citizens that are rioting, are, they're pissed that the police are being lenient on the illegal migrants coming in. And then all of a sudden, they're they're really hard on on them, on people that have a problem with it, and and the police are there controlling their riots. And I, I say riots. You know, if it turned violent, it is a riot. They're protests. They're this. But when these illegal immigrants get off the boat and start destroying things, they're like, we got to be careful because because of the, of, of, of the, the mindset these days. And anyway, so there, it's happening in fifteen, up to 15 British cities right now. People are rioting, like, as we speak. They're just rioting. Everyone's wow. pissed. Um, they're, but the, the part that gets me is they're targeting mosques and hotels that are housing asylum seekers. You know, you can hang out outside of, of those places and kind of wait and just see, like, are you? I don't know. But you can't attack all Muslims. No, no. You can't go to all the mosques and be pissed. You can't go to all the hotels and 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 go in there and just destroy things. And that's unfortunately, I think, what's happening. So I'm going to call these people out and tell them not to do this. Um, Take a few steps back. A few steps back. Let's. You've made your point. Stay at least outside. And not not target based on um, appearance unless you know absolutely one hundred percent that this person is illegal. And even then, it's really up to the, the the government. I mean, at that point, you just gotta you gotta vet 
these people coming in better. You can't just have open borders. Same yeah. with our country. So I wanted to give the UK example because it's happening here. Do you know what the po- political reason or whatever to have open borders? I mean, why would a country decide, you know what, this is what we need to do for these people? Why? What is the reasoning behind it, if you had to guess? that And that's a great... <laughs> That's maybe you're the best question you've ever asked on the show. No, I'm kidding. I it's a great question because I don't understand it. I think it's it's this. I think it's literally a this idea that it kumbaya. I mean, I know that sounds silly, but I think it's like everybody like everybody's a human. Well, I can understand asylum seekers, but there, I'm sure there's a process for it, that, right? Hmm. No, but they're not. They're not. They're not following that. That's what I'm saying. That's the there's a process I'm sure in place. Right. So why these are boats, feel the need these to are, open them up? These are boats of men. No women, no children. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, that's those aren't asylum seekers. Those are there's something else there. These, and then same, you know, if you looked at and yeah, and, and in the United States there are some women and children that have been coming across the border. But if you did a percentage, it's not that. And so I don't know the answer why people want this. I really don't. I understand the issue when you separate the families, the border. I get it, but you, you know they're they're breaking the law. I mean, our laws. We have to. You cannot be a country without strong borders. You just can't. Yeah. And we're finding that out. France is finding it out. The UK. It's chaos for Western countries right now. It just is. And there's even a thing, and we'll talk about it the next show because I you know, obviously been too late on this one, but. I mean, they're even talking about how there are South, South American countries that are sending their worst criminals up across the border. They're like, go to the U.S. Because uh, they can just walk across. And so that's where Trump's saying, hey, we're getting some bad people. Again, I, I need to look a little more into that. But that's the, some credible sources have uh, that I've seen. And so the last thing I'll mention, and then we'll go very quickly because I really want to know your opinion on this, because the Elon Musk, who I'm starting to be a fan of, because he tells it like it is, and I appreciate that. That's the way that I am. He thinks flat out, when talking about the UK, the riots, the issue here, the election, he swears there's going to be a civil war in one one of these countries very soon. What do you think? An actual civil war where people are just... God, that would be scary. He, and he, he's getting all his backlash and whatever, but is he is he that off? I, I I called it a couple shows ago. I think I even said you even said that people were if Trump had died. Oh, I think there would have been an uprising. Yeah. So we're we're close. I think and waiting on just one straw to drop, and it's what's that? What do you think? Do you have man, any idea what know. that could be? Like, I hope it's not. If if Trump wins, well, I hope it's not that. What if you know, it's if, if Kamala it's, wins? If Kamala wins, what if this election sparks something crazy? And that's and that's something for another another show. I mean, I, you could sit here and and talk about it for. See, I would have thought something would have sparked crazy when Obama won. If or do you not just because he was there. black? Yeah, that's what I would have thought. I don't know if it's civil war type. But you no? can get some people that are saying some shit. I don't know if they're gonna. You know, because he won, there was there was no uh, there there was no doubt in anybody's mind. I mean, he he won. Yeah, and I think with everything going on in the last whatever, it's it's a little different uh, right now. People believe this person won. People believe this person won, even though this says one way or the other. And I think that it's so polarized right now. It's so. Divided. I mean, it, I seriously swear we should cut half the country and just everybody. If you want to go on this side, go on this side. If you want to go, I really think, and I and I'd, I'd be really interested to see what happened. I mean, we should do a game one show where we just talk about the issues and say, all right, which side would would prosper and which side would fail, hmm. if any. Maybe they'd both be happy in their own way. Yeah, who knows. But Elon said that, and I thought that was interesting. And of course, he he's getting backlash. Why would you get backlash for just saying just an, an opinion. opinion? Yeah, another example of that. Um, this quote, and we're out of here, is stupid. <laughs> uh, but it's 
but it's true. And I'm going to go with it. How about that, Trey? Stupid but true. Go. There, there's no elevator to success, meaning fast. There's right. No elevator. You have to take the stairs. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. You, you do. Success takes time. Be patient, and you'll get there. Right, buddy? Yeah. Like our, Just fucking, like, like our show. <laughs> I was going to say Taekwondo is like God. eating an elephant. You got to go one piece at a time. <laughs> Oh, one one Sorry. of my one of my quotes is going to finally hit, and people are going to go, "Yeah, I don't think that's happened quite yet." No, there was one a couple shows. Oh, ago you liked one a couple? Yeah, shows. there's All been right. a couple. All right, that was a quote. Uh, there is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. Fuck you, Trey. <laughs> see <laughs> you guys. You too. See you guys next time. Love you. Later. I love you, Trey. Whatever. <laughs> Here, just the facts and the fair. We look at both sides to our best to compare. In this podcast realm, where we compromise, balance is key and the facts don't lie. Stay in the great world perspective to intertwine. We seek the truth in the gray we define. In this podcast journey, minds open wide. Shades the truth on this impartial ride. We're still in the lead on the metal count, by the way. And yeah, we are up by like 40. <laughs> Trey, I swear to w- one of these days we're going to have a show that's under an hour. <laughs> really? We're at an hour and 15. I hope everybody enjoyed it. And um, like and subscribe. <laughs> like and like, subscribe. You know, we never say that. Like yeah. and subscribe. Yeah. And uh, hopefully the next show will give you the uh, more controversial Olympic talk. You're I, welcome. I, I don't know. I mean, Trey was talking to me earlier about Speedos with cocks, and, <laughs> and we didn't. We didn't. Yes. We didn't quite make it there. The the men were showing off. Yeah, they were. And uh, my poster should be coming in soon. This is a preview for next show. We'll be talking about it. Love you guys. Later.